Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bits and Bites. All things consumable from all the places. You want to be? That's right. It's the United States edition, week by week, state by state. We're taking it from the top and bringing it to the bottom, week by week, state by state, week 30. Two, three, 33, I think. 50 states, 50 weeks. Get out your calculators, get out your abacus, tell me where we're at. Week 33. Could only be one thing. North Carolina! North Carolina is here! Welcome to the show, North Carolina. You finally made it to the big stage, week 33, with the big old bits and bites. Don't know why we're doing this. Speak like we're Ric Flair. Per usual, we have the flag in the back. Is everything operating per usual? It looks like it is. Greetings, thank you for joining week 33. Holy shit, week 33. Bits and bites, week 33, North Carolina. Per usual, we have the flag on in the back. Let's take a peep. Yes, it's the traditional colors of America, some red, white, and blue. Very sketchy. It has two little banners and, and uh, some dates and some 1,700 years. And a star that just says NC, very uh, muted. A muted type flag. Not a favorite of mine. Not one that's going to go win any awards here, but it's okay. They got to show up too. I didn't even pull anything up for the thing. Good Lord! There's only one thing that can happen next after we just chat about the flag. We gotta ride out the song and we gotta hit the fast facts. And we gotta hit the fast facts hard. Let's go, bring them up. Fast facts! North Carolina is known as the Tar Heel State. Statehood in 1789, it was the 12th state. Doesn't even say 1789 on the flag, that's a little silly. Population as of July 2015 was 10 milli. The capital was Raleigh, the biggest city, Charlotte. Abbreviation is NC. All right. Everyone's favorite time. The state bird of North Carolina. Roll them dice. There it is. It's a Cardinal. Is there a, base is there a baseball team called the Cardinals? Not shocker. Not a baseball fan. Uh, there's a Cardinal, though. That looks cool. Does it? I mean, does it? I wish I wish we never got into the bird bit. There it is. Take a peep, everybody. Everyone's favorite, the Cardinal. How lovely. And then the uh, state flower, the flowering dogwood. Yes, everyone knows that. Yes, the flowering dogwood. Uh, this looks like any other tree that I would call a dogwood. There it is, everyone, the flowering dogwood. Really wish we never got into the tree and bird bit, but here we are. Anybody, anyway, good Lord. Welcome everybody to week 33. North Carolina, like we said. We've got the food and the drink of North Carolina. Do we have any whole hog barbecue? We don't. Is that a pivotal thing in North Carolina cuisine? It is. Do we have it? We don't. I'm sorry. I didn't roast a whole fucking hog and bring it down. Bring down the music, speaking of. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. Just don't have the time to do a whole hog. But did we procure some cheer wine? You're goddamn right we did. Did we procure some barbecue sauces that are representative of the Carolinas, specifically North Carolina, not its younger, lesser brother, South Carolina? You're goddamn right we did. Did we procure some olives? No, we didn't. Did we procure some pickles with the mysterious name of Mount Olive? Yes, we did. Are they made in North Carolina? Yes, they are. Did we procure some Texas Pete's hot sauce? From Texas? No! From North Carolina. Mount Olive, not making olives. North Carolina. Texas Pete hot sauce, not from Texas. North Carolina. Strange ways you have, North Crackalacky. 
and sheer wine, which I don't know much about, although I did sample it a little bit um, earlier in a different variety than this. I have not had the straight sheer wine in a can. We're going to get into We're going to get into the Mount Olive. And then there's some, uh, some other juice here made in North Carolina. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Uh, I've seen this uh, in my local stores, and um, I've never really deep-dived into it. It looks honestly like crap. It looks like something I would never want. But um, what is it? It's Midnight Moon Moonshine. Uh... There it is. Midnight Moon Moonshine. Blackberry edition. Uh, made in North Carolina, apparently. So we're going to deep dive into this a little bit as well. Where do we begin? Your boy's thirsty. Let's get... Well, let's talk about the state first. Should we? What do we do? Birds, done. The birds are done. Let's get into cheer wine, take a sip, and we'll get the state. Cheerwine's a big soda, says right here, since 1917. I don't know if that's true. Uniquely Southern, says the internet. The Cheerwine Festival's coming up. Good Lord. Chat says, I've seen dudes in Asbury who look like that cardinal. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Cheerwine, the South's unique cherry soft drink. Well, let's just get in here. Here's the Cheerwine. Let's pour it. I'm going to go ahead and guess it's going to look like soda. It says very low sodium. Like most sodas, it says uh, contains carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, and a bunch of death. So let's uh, let's pour it in this cup. Let's see what's going on with the cheer wine. Oh, it's red. It's like birch beer red. You know what birch beer looks like? Anyone? Am I? I don't know what. I'm, am I dating myself or what am I saying? It looks like birch beer. Cheers. Bottoms up. Cheers to North Carolina and cheer wine. This tastes like Dr. Pepper. Tastes like Dr. Pepper with like a little bit of, um, it's Dr. Pepper with a little bit, uh, a little bit of like, uh, cherry or something in it. There's no cherry soda like. Oh, you don't see it. Sorry. There's no cherry soda like it. It says. I beg to differ. Let's take this part of the Instagram. I don't really know about that cheer wine. I don't know if I want to go that deep with you. History. All right, let's go. I'll give you a little bit. We're here for the. We're here for the food and the drink and. We're living it. Uniquely Southern and undeniably delicious is the oldest continuing soft drink run by the same family. We're proud of our story. Grab a cold glass of our unique cherry soda and dive in. I, I, I thought that was going to be the whole story. I'm not ready for this timeline. We're not doing the timeline. Sorry. Fast forward. Back to North Carolina. So here's the state. Uh, I don't know if I've been there. They're big in a barbecue whole hog. Let's read what it says. North Carolina is a state in the southeastern region of the United States. South Carolina is the 28th largest and ninth most populous of the 50 states. Bordered by Virginia to the north, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, Georgia and South Carolina to the south, and Tennessee to the west. All right. So, yeah. I mean, this is pretty goddamn southern down here. I know about some barbecue places I've been to in South Carolina, but uh, we're going to have to wait a couple weeks to get to that now, ain't we? Been to Virginia. I feel like I've been to Raleigh, maybe. I've been to North Carolina. I feel like I had to. I just don't remember much. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. But there it is. That's what it looks like. That's a big state. And they love their barbecue. Uh, there's a cardinal again. Here's a cheer wine. We got that going. Cheer wine tastes like soda. Shocker. Let's get into the booze. Moonshine. Let's learn. What's it called? Moon, midnight Moon. Now, when I hear moonshine, and I see moonshine being s- sold in the store, uh, you know, I... Uh, I want to think that it's the real deal. It's the shit that's going to make you go blind like you've been told. But this is, like, uh, not that. This is alcohol by volume 50%. It's 100 proof. This is kind of like like a high-proof vodka, almost. Um, This is the blackberry version. It has actual whole blackberries in the bottom. I guess we should deep in, get in there and eat one of those. It does come in this uh, jar, you know. Let's go to the overhead cam so you can watch me struggle. We're going to try and get a blackberry out. Luckily, this fork is down here because I didn't bring a fork down. 
We're gonna go for a blackberry. And there it is, a moonshine soaked. A moonshine soaked blackberry to open the show. Uh, cheers, North Carolina. Whoa! All right, I was not prepared for that. Whew, that does have some bite of what I was just shit talking like it wouldn't. I thought it was going to taste like a sweet elixir. Whoa, defiant spirit. Let, all right, let's read up on this a little bit. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Moonshine, blackberry, 100 proof. Uh, we see the website. Sorry, I keep not in including you in my scan here. Apple pie is a big one. Blackberry's cool. They have dill pickle. That's kind of gross. Well, that kind of goes with the pickle situation over here at Mount Olive. Cherry, blueberry. I would have got cherry if I saw it. Raspberry, peach. Wow, they're really hitting all the fruits, huh? Cinnamon, cool. All right, so tell me about the blackberry, I guess. Let's just, let's just deep. I guess I can't. The meat are dark side of the moon or midnight moon blackberries in an infusion of 100%. 100 proof midnight moon with all natural blackberries as the concoction blends in the jar the flavor transforms into a tangy sweet and bold taste that's perfect for some passing around well we're living in the times of covid so i don't think we're gonna be passing much around but i will pour myself a nice old glug and sip on it like a champ it's a very inconvenient thing to pour out of i'm going to make a goddamn mess here i, I know it All right, not that bad. Not that bad of a mess. All right, so we're going to sip on some moonshine like we're in North Carolina, because that just seems like the right thing to do. It's a little bold on its own, fruit forward. Woo! I mean, I like whiskey that's strong, but damn, that's um, it's a bit aggressive. Let's put an ice cube or two in there. Well, two is bad luck. Let me do three. So that's a 750 Blackberry. Oh, that's right. We're opening the phone lines tonight. Let's hit it. Taking your phone calls. Let's make sure it works. 843 Rebel TV. 843 Rebel TV. Obviously, only serious phone calls. Definitely no shenanigans. Definitely no prank phone calls. Definitely no one make believing they're from a state that we're trying to learn about. Definitely don't do that. Sounds like it works. 843 Rebel TV. 843 uh, Rebel TV. Great. All right. So we're drinking Blackberry Moonshine. That's always a great way to start the program. Much more palatable with um, the ice cube. Still, still a bit bold. Uh, this is going to be a great episode for my stomach. We're going to be having pickles, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, and moonshine. Great. Really plan this one. Maybe you should have roasted the pig, dude. Okay. Uh, let's see. What, what, uh, we're really all over the place here. I got to die. I got to tame. I got to get a. Let's get the show dialed in here. What do I got for North Carolina in the book? America's ashtray. Basketball, whole hog, and tobacco. Oh, yeah, Rowley was named after a guy named Sir Walter Rowley, who apparently is known for nothing but smoking. Let's see. Sir Walter Rowley. Yeah, apparently, you know, back in the day, NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt, Intimidator, Wright Brothers. That's what I got written down. Uh, Walter Rowley. This is all about smoking. Apparently, North Carolina used to be a big crop. Uh, tobacco was a big crop down there. This isn't a fucking history class, though. Enough about Sir Walter Rowley. Um, we, I've had these pickles before, Mount Olive, but I did grab a couple products that um, I uh, never had before, including these strange bags of munchers, munchies, the portable pickle. Uh, very strange. Two of those. And then they had, you know, jalapeno slices, which is normal. And then I had these. I just have these in the old cupboard. Some bread and butter. These are Mount Olive. Very good bread and butter. Hamburger dills ready to go. But I did find this very odd product I've never heard of. It's a medium pickle salsa. What in the hell is a Mount Olive medium pickle salsa? Well, let's go find out. Oh, the other stupid thing that they have is these little juicers that look like um, uh, great for sport drinks, marinades, and secret ingredients. It's literally pickle juice in something that looks like a five-hour energy shot. So that's nice and fucking weird. 
I like pickles too, dude, but come on, we don't gotta put them in the drinks. We don't gotta do all these kinds of things. All right, let's see what's up with this new pickle salsa. This isn't meant to be eaten like a salsa salsa, right? Like, what? I'm not supposed to put chips on this. Let's see, gluten-free, contains five calories for serving eaten alone as a dip or added to your favorite dish. Try it spooned over grilled fish with avocado or served on chicken quesadillas. Well, fuck it, let's try it. I don't have any of those things. I don't have any of the suggested pairings. Um, but I do have moonshine and a really bland ass cracker here. So that's what we're gonna go with. So let's just go with it. Let's try this. I mean, I had the pickles. I'm not gonna tell you what the pickles look like. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Let's smell this. Oh, it just smells like pickles. Oh, see this? I mean, that's, I mean, that's pickles. That's pickles, all right. All right, bottoms up. Real chunky. Real pickly. I mean, I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. Yeah, I guess put it on fish if you like pickles on your fish. It's not that it's bad. It tastes like cut up pickles and pickle juice with tomato with leftover salsa that you had. And then you just fucking mush it all together because you were drunk or hungover. And then you poured it on the fish and everyone looked at you like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Why'd you pour the- why'd you chop up the pickles and put it in the salsa and then why you put it on my grilled fish? I don't know about that, Mount Olive, but all your other shit's pretty good. Your normal pickles are great. Jalapeno slice is always good to have in the old pantry. Bread and butter chips. Champion of the burger. Uh, and we're not gonna drink pickle juice because I already feel the acid from that fucking pickle salsa fucking seeping into my, uh, innards. And, uh, it's not really what I'm looking for. Um, but you know, apparently Mount Olive is based in North Carolina, so we're eating it. And the other thing that's based in North Carolina, I believe is Bojangles. Uh, yeah, found in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, I did try to get my hands on some Bojangles, and I could not. Uh, I've never had the Bojangles, but they are, uh, one of the fast food options out there, uh, in the southeast that, uh, claims to have some of the best chicken. I have not had Bojangles. If you've had Bojangles and you want to talk Bojangles, feel free to fucking call it up. Bread and butter's good. Don't hate chat. Don't hate the bread and butter. Um, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I've never had the Bojangles and I really have nothing to say because I didn't get my hands on any. There's no frozen product. They didn't even sell a goddamn spice kit or something I could get. So, I don't know, Bojangle's supposed to be good. That's based in North Carolina or something cool. Moonshine's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Texas Pete, and then we're gonna talk about barbecue sauce, but I guess let's just talk about barbecue sauce first. So, the one thing I can go into a little bit of detail on is uh, North Carolina and barbecue sauces, which I feel like we've done on other episodes before, uh, where barbecue has come up. But uh, in the Americas, there's some distinctive regions of barbecue. Uh, and everyone's got their own kind of barbecue sauce. North Carolina's got their own, South Carolina's got their own, um, Texas has got their own, uh, Virginia's got their own, there's some white Alabama sauces out there. I mean, there's all kinds of barbecue sauces that are very regional. Um, this one that I got my hand, I wasn't gonna sample barbecue sauce, but this one that I did find, um, specifically claims to be Western North Carolina tomato sauce. And, you know, for the sake of actually giving some food knowledge on the show. Uh, I did find a good website. I hope it's, uh, is it the one on Eater? There's one on the map. I have no problem with just shilling Eater. Eater's a, Eater's a good resource. There was one with a map. I guess this isn't it. I feel like we've done this one before, but we could at least... We could at least cover uh, this Piedmont or Lexington style dip. Uh, North Carolina results in the state system with a validity of tomatoes on cue. Lexington dip. Now there's a style, then there's South Carolina mustard sauce, and then there's parts of North Carolina. All, the overlay begins where, uh, where's the map? There was like a, there's like a map. One of these articles had like a great map of what barbecue sauces were where. 
This is what I do in my downtime. Uh, St. Louis style, Memphis, Alabama, ma'am. Eastern style vinegar sauce, one of my favorites. Let's get dip. Carolina gold is a mustard sauce, but I do believe that that leans more South Carolina, <coughs> not North. Texas style. Man, there was a map. If I don't find a third link, we just gotta we just gotta call it. I'm not gonna sit here and cruise at you. Yeah, we're not anyway. So there's other regions of it. Is the bottom line. And this one that I got my hands on happens to be Carolina barbecue sauce, Western North Carolina tomato. This balanced and tangy. So this is from Lily's, which I do believe is what's his name, uh, the actual like pro barbecue guy, Lily. I can't think of his goddamn name. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just ripped off from that guy. Um, in any event, Western North Carolina tomato, this ba balanced and tangy sauce is crafted to honor Western Carolina barbecue traditions. Well, number, why number 40? It says number 40 on here. Uh, visit our restaurant or Lily Q's for the full story. Hint, not all highways are created equal. Well, we're on the website, so let's fucking go. Tell me the goddamn story. You really hooked me in here. All right, what are these fucking at? Come on, internet. Jesus Christ. Do some show prep. Uh, sauces. Here we go. Number five, Hot Smoky. Number 40, Carolina. Boom. Let's go. Talk to me. Why number 40? Oh, it picks up right where the bottle left off. How, how goddamn convenient. On any pilgrimage from our hometown Chicago, hopping on Route 40 always means you're close to barbecue havens like Shelby's, Greensboro, and Asheville. 657 miles have never been so worth it. Region. Western North Carolina. In Western North Carolina, whole pork shoulder and whole hog, let's be fair, is cooked low and slow, uh, is the top contender, the tomato-based vinegar-forward sauce served on the side. I love that idea, and that just makes me want to get into it. So let's erase the taste. Let's erase the taste of pickles and go right into this. Carolina barbecue sauce, lilies. Oh, yeah. That makes you want pork. Now, I had some pork upstairs. I should have brought down, but again, I didn't want to turn into it, eating a fucking pork chop for you. Yeah, really? The tomato really does come through. Super vinegary, but not in a... Um, it's bright. I don't want to even say vinegary. It's very bright. That's a really damn good sauce. I've never had this. I've made some Carolina-style barbecue sauce, tomato and vinegar style, but um, never that good. Cheers to that. Yeah, that was really goddamn good. Um, oof. So I have some other ones that I found. These Heinz makes some like regional shit. This is a uh, Carolina mustard style sweet mustard. And this is a Carolina vinegar style sweet and tangy. I think we're just gonna save that for the South Carolina show. I don't think we need to do a panel of barbecue sauce tasting unless we really need to. But, um, yeah, this Lily's makes a whole bunch of different styles of barbecue sauce. If you're really trying to get into regionality, uh, they nail some of them. And they're pretty accurate as to the ones that I've encountered in the South and in these beautiful barbecue regions. But um, there I go again rambling without showing you what's happening. Uh, you know what pairs well with is cheer wine. Yeah. Cheer wine would be a very good um, barbecue soda. I must say. Um... Are we getting everything else here? We're not. We're not seeing the barbecue sauce. And the Texas Pete. It's very important that Texas Pete shows his face. I'm not quite sure how or why Texas Pete is a part of North Carolina lore. Um, something tells me we're gonna find out. Um, Texas Pete. Is that a good hot sauce? I mean, I of all the hot sauces that I have on file uh, upstairs in um, in the old cupboard. How many times did I say the word cupboard this show? Um, I didn't have Texas Pete. Probably because it sucks. Uh, but before we get into that, let's also talk about another fantastic North Carolina product. The Krispy Kreme and the Krispy Kreme Donut. Um, hard to find, elusive, but delightful nonetheless. A North Carolina... I think it was made in North Carolina originally. Uh, their classic glaze is pretty goddamn good, I'm going to say. Uh, they make a lot of different donuts. You know what Krispy Kreme is. 
The reason I just wanted to bring it up was because I think since we have no guests, let's just start calling some Krispy Kremes late night and see what's going on out there. Let's get the pulse of North Carolina by talking to Krispy Kreme employees. Are they open at this hour? Are this ungodly hour? I'm going to go ahead and say no. And your boy's right. Uh, this one's open. Close it soon. Where are you at? Closing soon. We got time. That's the last half hour of their shift. Long time chain Krispy Kreme in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's do it. Calling Krispy Kreme, Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you for calling Krispy Kreme. Please visit www.krispykreme.com for up-to-date shop hours. My brother not. To speak with someone regarding your online order, mm. please press 1. If it's not related to an online order, press 2 to speak with someone at the shop. Thank you. I'd like to speak with someone at the shop. I think that's the most important thing right now. Please hold while I try to connect you. I have no other option. Please attempt connection. <clears throat> the first one's always tough. I'm not sure what to say. <clears throat> They're like, who's calling Krispy Kreme? At this ungodly hour. Well, we're going to have to try to find a backup if Krispy Kreme doesn't answer. If Krispy Kreme doesn't answer, we're going to have to start calling, um... Um... Hotels again. Hotels, we, we hit the jackpot. It's the only Krispy Kreme that's open in North Carolina right now? All right, scratch Krispy Kreme. 86 Krispy Kreme in North Carolina. There's only one and they're not open, so we're going to have to wait. Uh, let's try some hotels. Motels, rather. Not in Charlotte, though. we got to go outside. And, you know, we like to go a little bit... Nothing too uh, metropolitan. You know what I'm saying? We need something a little... A little Econo Lodge-like. You know, that's what we're looking for. In Gastonia, North Carolina. Show me. Could you zoom in, please? We, we, I want to see the town. I want to know what, what we're working with here. Google, you gotta, you gotta work with me better here, dude. You're not, you're not being uh, helpful, Google. All right, let's call this Econo Lodge. In uh, some town I can't pronounce. Calling Econo Lodge in Gastonia, North Carolina. Gastonia. Econo Lodge in Gastonia. This is. Hi, how you doing? Hello? Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you, sir? I'm good. Uh, my name is Billy, and I'm doing a sh like a podcast about the food and the drink of North Carolina. And I just had a couple questions for people who live in North Carolina. And I I don't know if you have a minute. I just had a question about like what the food's like out there and stuff like that. If not, it's okay. Uh, no, sir. Actually, I'm on the job right now. Oh, okay, man. Uh, can I just ask you, sir, do you, you get into barbecue down there? No, it's a hotel, uh, like it's a motel. Yes, yes, I know, but you personally, you live in North Carolina, right? Yes. Okay, so you enjoy the barbecue. That's a big thing down there. That's what we're trying to find out. No, we don't eat meat, sir. Oh, you don't eat meat, okay. But Krispy Kreme donuts, that's a thing. Yeah. Okay, Don't are they good? Because I, I hear they started in North Carolina. I'm just going down my list of food items. I'm just trying to see if it's popular. Yeah, they're good. They're good. All right, well, we'll put that in the book. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Sure. gonna be a rough night all right keep scanning we're gonna hit something problem is it's late out there just keep eating this Krispy Kreme donut you know the rules we don't want to call any restaurants or bars they're busy let's get um courtyard by Marriott that might be too upscale but let's give it a shot this is legal isn't it calling courtyard by marriott salisbury this is north carolina so i'll make sure we're still in north carolina salisbury north carolina like the steak let's go 
Call and Courtyard by Marriott Salisbury, North Carolina. Do you like moonshine? Do you like Krispy Kreme donuts? Hmm. Call a Hilton? Yeah, we could do that. Thanks for calling Courtyard. This is Diana. How may I help you? Hi, Diana. How are you doing? Doing well. Hope you are. I'm doing well, too. Thanks for asking. Um, I'm doing a show, like a podcast, on the food and drink of North Carolina. And I'm just trying to get my hands on people who live there and just want to ask them about some of the food stuff that I have, if it's accurate or like... It, stuff like that. Are you from North Carolina? Do you have a minute, rather? I don't want to take up your time if you don't have a minute. Yeah, I, I can't right now. I'm sorry. It's all good. I know it's busy working time. I'm just trying to just trying to touch base with someone in North Carolina. That's all. All right. You have a good day. Thank you. You too. <laughs> bye bye. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna hook someone. It's like fishing. Yeah, it's like fishing, guys. Call a Hilton. Let's call a Hilton. It's like fishing. You know, you can't, uh, you, you don't just, you don't get discouraged when you don't, uh, you don't, you don't hook something right away. Homes to Sweets by Hilton Salisbury. Let's stick with Salisbury. Home to Sweets. You don't get discouraged. We out here fishing in North Carolina. Salisbury fishing, they call it. Old Salisbury fishing. Thank you for calling Home Two Sweet by Hilton Salisbury, where free Wi-Fi, it's not a free real breakfast, person. and our roomy suites are waiting for you. For reservations, press one. Mm -mm. For the sales office, press two. Mm -mm. For all other calls, simply stay on the line. I'll simply stay on the line. <clears throat> it's got third time's charm. We can do it. I think it's possible Salisbury. This is Salisbury, North Carolina. Thank you for calling the home to Sweets in Salisbury. This is Samantha. I can help you. Samantha, how you doing tonight? Fine. How are you? I'm all right. Um, my name is Billy. It's a weird question. I'm from. I'm doing a show on the food and drink of North Carolina. I'm just trying to touch mm -hmm. base with somebody quick, just to ask about the food and the drink that I have. I do like a weekly show for every state. This week's North Carolina. Just wanted to know if you had a minute. I could ask you about barbecue, and apparently Krispy Kreme donuts are from there too. Uh, are you from North Carolina? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, you born and raised, I assume, so you know a little bit more than I would. Obviously, I'm not from there, so. Okay. Uh, do you, do, is, is barbecue a big thing in North Carolina? I mean, from what I can tell, it yes, is. Yes, it is. All right, whole mm -hmm. whole hog barbecue, also, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you're in Salisbury, is where this is. I'm just trying to see where that is in the state. Um, yeah, Salisbury. Cool. Um, so uh, uh, a quick question like i'm from new jersey right so in new jersey i kind of break it up like three sections kind of there's like north jersey central and south north's a little bit closer to new york central's like a short town and stuff like that and south jersey's like you know cape may atlantic city philadelphia maybe kind of vibe how would you break up north carolina because i'm looking at it and i just kind of see like you know rally and that's it um it's like, kind of like the you got the coast of North Carolina, the Piedmont, the foothills, and you got the mountains as well. Okay, cool. I'm looking at it on a map, yeah. so that kind of that kind of yeah. sticks. So it's like you got Raleigh in the middle, and then everything in the east would be the Piedmont. Is that what we're calling it to the east over there? Uh, east, the east would be towards the coast. The uh, Piedmont is kind of in the center. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And all right. So what, from food, like I said, I got food and drink from each state. I got cheer wine because that's from there. Apparently, I got some Krispy Kreme donuts and Mount yeah. Olive pickles. Uh, that's, a, that's a, and Texas Pete also apparently is made out there. Is there anything yeah. else that's uniquely North Carolina that you would say, food or drink wise? Uh, uh, sun drop. Sun drop. What's that? I never heard mm -hmm. of it. What is sun drop? Sun drop is like a lemon lime flavored drink. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think I ever heard about it. All right, sun drop's <laughs> big. And what about food? Is there any kind of food, or is it just the barbecues the thing? Uh, barbecue's the thing around here. Barbecue's the thing. All right, so that that checks all the boxes. Um, is there anything about North Carolina people should know besides that? I mean, that pretty much covers everything. That pretty much covers everything. That covers everything. I love barbecue. Yeah. All right, and if I had to go to North Carolina for the best barbecue, where do I go? Your favorite. Uh, your Lexington. favorite, at least. Lexington? Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Well, Samantha, thank you very much. I appreciate, appreciate you chiming in. You're welcome. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. Bye. It's like a half. I don't want to eat this whole donut. Oh, wait, donut. 
I'll just eat some hot sauce. I'll blow my mouth out. Not like donuts and hot sauce and moonshine, you know? <laughs> North Carolina. You silly bitch. What was it called? Sundrop? <laughs> North Carolina. You silly bitch. Yeah, we got somebody from a hill. It's a soda. It's a citrus soda, to be precise. It's lemon, lime, and orange trifecta of surprisingly good that delights and refreshes the taste buds. Look, if you've watched this show before, you know I'm not soda guy. This is another fucking 12-pack of soda that's going to sit and rot. I think we're going to start giving them away as gifts to people who come to the studio. Um, you know, all the sodas, they just taste like sugar death to me. Is there any sodas out there that don't taste like death? It just tastes like I just take a sip and go, yeah, that's killing me from the inside. Let me have another. What are you doing? You might as well just chain smoke. All right, we're going to open this Texas Pete's and put it on this shitty cracker again. I haven't had Texas Pete in a minute. Let's pull up the Texas Pete Webby. Texas Pete hot sauce. God help me if this tastes like Tabasco. Looks like Tabasco. Also, if you watch the show, you know Tabasco, not my favorite of the hot sauces. Mainly because it's flavorless and well, what you would call limp. I consider tobacco a limp sauce. Alright, let's go Texas Pete. Let's see what this shit's about. Well, it smells real tobacco or um Tabasca E. Texas Pete. Let's just load it up. Mmm. Yeah. All right, well. I mean, this tastes like this tastes like Tabasco. I'm not impressed with it. Um, I'm certainly not reading a story about Texas Pete. Look, it's made in North Carolina. That's the TLDR here. Why it's called Texas Pete? Could I read this all to you right now? Oh, sorry. You're not seeing this. Texas Pete. History of Texas Pete. The year was 1929. We're not doing that. We're definitely not doing that. What else haven't we hit? We hit the olives. My stomach already is burning from that. The moonshine's not helping. The cheer wine definitely didn't help. Ugh, the hot sauce did. This is a rough... This is a rough episode for you, boy. The stomach is a, a, a churning. Better eat this donut. Better eat that donut to settle everything down down there. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this Texas Pete. All right, let's scan it a little bit. Let's see. So how is that tasty red pepper sauce made in North Carolina happens to be named Texas Pete? Well, let's be fair. That is how it opens. Legend has it when Sam Garner and his three sons, Thad, Ralph, and Harold. Ugh, Thad. We're trying to come up with a brand name for the spicy new sauce they created. A marketing advisor suggested the name Mexican Joe. That's insensitive. To connote the piquant flavor reminiscent of the favorite foods of our neighbors to the south. Nope, said the patriarch. This is a terrible fucking story. It's got to have an American name, Sam suggested. It's a terrible story. Uh, Sam suggested they move across the border to Texas, which also has the reputation for spicy cuisine. North Carolina's not near fucking Texas. Were they in Mexico? Did they leave out that part of the st story? Were they smuggling drugs? What the fuck is going on? Movie Cowboys, Texas Pete Hot Sauce was not the first product they made. They made barbecue sauce. Here's some pictures of the old man. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Looks like they had a failed restaurant. I don't even want to give this any credit. This is like a Tabasco knockoff. Is it better? Yeah. It's just still not what I want. But, you know, good for them. Good for a, a family making hot sauce. I don't know. Real wholesome. Sam Thad and Ralph and Harold. Real American names, you know? Ugh. 
current factory built in 1942 and added on to many times to count sits in the original Garner family home site in Northwest Winston-Salem. All right, so it's still made North Carolina and they're just ripping off Texas. Get in line. Everyone's ripping off on Texas, especially these days. Not impressed really with the sauce. Not impressed with the ripoff. And damn, heartburn's impressive. Your boy's hurting. Maybe if I do one of these pickle juice chasers, that'll help. I mean, look at these. This is... To every sports drink, run, hike, and bike across America. Is this true? Like, if you're a, a sporting type, everyone knows I am, obviously. Uh, do you crush pickle juice to hydrate? Because of the sodium, I'm assuming. It helps you with the hydration. Is that what this is for? This looks. I was just thought we were going to put these in Bloody Marys or something. But that ain't happening tonight. Um, this moonshot might help, I guess. Ugh. I, I think this all went downhill when I ate that berry from the jar. I think that's something you're supposed to do at the end of the night by the campfire. Not open the jar and then eat the fruit. Perhaps a poor decision was made. Um, feels like there's a searing uh, lightsaber in my chest. That's what it feels like. A North Carolinian lightsaber searing my chest. Uh, let's try another hotel. Feeling lucky. Let's get out of this region. We had a half-assed answer. We need a. We need some. We need something better. Like what's this in the middle of nowhere out here? Best Western Smithfield Inn. Beautiful. Calling the Best Western Smithfield Inn. I like when it goes right to a person. I'm loosened up now. I'm ready to chat. Why is there matzah? Why do I have matzah here? Thank you for calling Best Western Smithfield. How can I help you? Hi, how you doing? Uh, how's your night? Good, and yours? I'm all right. Um, my name is Billy, and I'm doing like a weekly show on the food and the drink of each state. And this week, it's North Carolina, and I'm just trying to reach out and chat with somebody real quick about the food and the drink of their state from someone who lives there. And if you got a second, I just got some questions about your barbecue in North Carolina. If you got a, if you got a minute. Um sure but i don't know how useful i would be <laughs> uh, well are you born and raised in north carolina or from there at least uh yes sir born and raised all right well it's a good start i mean it's better than me i'm not from there i don't think i've ever been there i'm from new jersey so uh, i can't help so like i said i do a show every week uh on the food and the drink of these states week 33 we're on and it's north carolina so i brought in some stuff from north carolina i have cheer wine which apparently is a big thing down there is that true yeah, it is. People love the Even cheer. I hate the stuff. Yeah, I just tried it. It tastes like a. It tastes like a bad like. Cough like, medicine. Yeah, cough medicine or oh, now I really don't like it. I, I a little bit didn't like it, but now that you said cough medicine, I really don't like it. It is yeah. cough medicine esque. You're right. Um, and uh, Mount Olive pickles are made there. Is that something? Oh God, I love pickles. You love pickles. Yes. Do you like the Mount Olive brand? They're made there apparently. Yes. Is that a big brand down there in North Carolina? Yes, it is. All right, because it's big over here in New Jersey. I see this brand everywhere, and I do enjoy it. I just didn't know they were from North Carolina until I looked. So I got some of their pickles here. They're delicious. We like that. What's your favorite pickle from North Carolina? Mm -hmm. You like a bread and butter? You like a one of them hamburger dills? What are you into? All of them. I guess if I had to choose, it would be bread and butter. I could just eat them out the jar. <laughs> bread and butter pickles are pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm with you on that. They're pretty tasty. I like them on my burger. Um, what else do we got? So, and then I got uh, barbecue is obviously a big thing down there, right? I, I'm not bringing in the barbecue, sadly. But I got some barbecue sauce, and I know that that's like a thing down there. Like there's different regions with different sauces, right? Is that true? Does that sound right? Um, yeah, our, um, like, pulled barbecue, um, is vin vinegar-based, not ketchup-based. Right. Yes, is what everywhere else is. Yeah, everywhere else generally uh, does a big ketchup kind of sauce. It's like sugared-up ketchup yeah. is kind of what it's like. Yeah. But you guys do a vinegar sauce, and I one that I have here is a Carolina barbecue sauce, Western North Carolina tomato. So it's got, like, tomato in it, too. It's really tasty. Like, I liked it. Um. So if you're thinking like barbecue sauce, like we dip wings and fries in barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. we do make that here in North Carolina as well. But if you want to put it on like pulled pork barbecue, that's going to be vinegar based. Got to be the vinegar based. Red chili peppers and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I'm starving. Um, <laughs> what else do I got? Now I'll pull. And you guys do whole hog barbecue, right? 
Like that's the big thing in North Carolina, or is that South Carolina, or is that just all the Carolinas? I think it's all the Carolinas. Everywhere should do it though. Yeah, whole hog is the move. Um, and then what else I got? I got Texas Pete hot sauce. Apparently, is made in North Carolina. This I didn't know. Do you guys like that I sauce? Didn't know <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. I said I didn't know it was made here either. No, nah, you live there. All right, so obviously that's no good. No one knows if you live there and you never heard that. That doesn't that doesn't bode well. And what else I got? I got some moonshine, midnight moon moonshine, blackberry, which is apparently made in North Carolina. Is that something you guys dig on there? You drink the moonshines out there? Oh yeah. Is it this brand? This weird brand I'm drinking, the Midnight Moon, or you guys just make your own and get crazy? Mainly make our own. Make your own moonshine as well. Make your own moonshine. That's North Carolina parties. I'm jealous. No, no, it's not even that far from New Jersey. We're going on a map. Like, I feel like that you're like a couple states away. That's not that bad. Um, well, all right. So let me ask you this question. Then. So like I said, I'm from New Jersey, right? So when I tell people about New Jersey, I break it up in like three little regions. It's like North Jersey, Central Jersey, and South Jersey. North Jersey is like kind of near New York, a little faster pace, like kind of city vibes. Central Jersey's got some beach towns and like some other, you know, suburbs. And South Jersey's like Atlantic City, Philadelphia kind of vibes and a lot of like Pinelands. How would you break up North Carolina looking at it? Like I'm looking at it on a map. It looks pretty big. Are there different regions? Like is it the city and everything else? Or is it like mountain? Like how would you break it up as someone who lives there? Um, see, that's difficult because we're wide, not long. Yeah, I see that. You're real. It's, it's a wide state. That's for sure. Yeah, um, we have the beach and we have the mountains and then... It's like, I don't, just other place. <laughs> Everything else in the middle? All right. Yeah. Like, what's going on between Raleigh and Charlotte? Looks like a lot of green here. Is there anything going on there? Uh, it's mainly small towns, and that's um, actually where I am at. Oh, all right. That's where, where I thought I, I pulled it up. I mean, I pulled up the number randomly. I'm not sure what town it is. But all right, cool. So you're out there somewhere. I don't want to pinpoint you. Yeah, uh, it's mainly farmlands in mm -hmm. this area. A lot of farms out in um, North Carolina, eh? Yeah. All right. Grow, grow a lot of, of the tobacco and stuff. Yeah, to big tobacco state. I do remember that. Does everyone smoke yeah. out there? Is it just a state full of smokers? Actually, not as many people smoke as you would think. Well, that's good. That's probably, you know, different now. No one smokes really anymore, I guess. Uh, all right, so is there anything else? I won't hold you up. Is there anything else about North Carolina, I guess, food and drink focus that, that we're missing here? Is there anything that you, you think people drink out there a lot that isn't common or eat maybe outside of the barbecue that I should be aware of? Fried chicken. Fried chicken? Every state loves mm -hmm. fried chicken. You guys got great fried chicken out there? Is that the, is that the word? Yes, it's like grandma's old-fashioned fried chicken with cornbread mm. and mashed potatoes. All right, now I'm starving. <laughs> brown gravy. Now I'm starving again. Brown gravy? Oh, like that thick that thick brown gravy. Yes. Mm. Delicious. And what are we drinking with that? If we're, if we're eating fried chicken and mashed potatoes with that brown gravy, what are we drinking? Sweet tea, of course. What is it? Sweet tea? Sweet tea, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that tea that you get up north, but actual sweet tea. Real sweet tea. So when you make sweet tea... I mean, how sweet do you make it? I've been down south. I wasn't in North Carolina. I want to say it was in Savannah or something. I got a sweet tea. And my dear, was it sweet. It was like a pound of sugar in a cup with like a couple drops yeah, of tea no, in there. Sweet. It was a bit much. No. Uh, we, I put like a cup and a third cup of sugar in a gallon. A cup and, and a third of sugar in a gallon. All right. Yeah. That sounds like a, probably what's in a soda. You know, that's close to like some cheer wine levels of, of syrup, I guess, or <laughs> sugar. Yeah. A lot of places will put tons and tons, and even for me, it's too sweet, and I got a sweet tooth. Yeah, it's a bit much. Yeah. All right. Well, is there anything else people should know about North Carolina? I mean, I want to hold you up. Like I said, we we covered some of the things. Uh, no, we. That's basically it. I believe about North Carolina. If I was visiting North Carolina, it was the first place I should go, city or place or town or whatever. Hmm. Your opinion. No, there's no right answer, obviously. Well, there's actually a lot of places um, I would go if you know, like old like TV shows. I would go definitely go to Mount Airy because the Andy Griffith show was shot there, and also he was from there. Mount Airy. Okay, Andy Griffith was there. Yep. I didn't know that. Oh, look at that. All the way up north. Yeah, I'm looking on the map. Yeah, just uh, at the Virginia... North Carolina. Surrey County, there it is. All right, cool. Oh, the Andy yeah. Griffith Museum. 
Damn. Mm -hmm. They love him up there, I'm sure. Yes. All right. Well, cool. Best place I would go. All right. I'll put it on the map next time I come out there. That's where I'm heading. Uh, right. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. Sorry for the, the random call in the middle of your night. I'm sure you're busy. Not a problem. Cool. Have a good night. Thank you again. Mm-hmm. We're getting better. We're getting better. <clears throat> I think we'll go for one more. We're not getting more info, though. They're very reluctant North Carolina. Everyone's just like, you know, even the ones that want to talk, they're just lead I'm leading them on with the questions, and they're just kind of, yep. Nope. Sweet tea. Cup and a third. All right. One more run. I can't. Honestly, I'd go longer and start reading stuff, but I'm not going to lie. Between the goddamn berry, the hot sauce, the pickle. I mean, I should have seen this coming. The soda. It, it's searing a hole in my chest. I'm very uncomfortable. Jesus. All right. Let's go out towards the water a little bit more. Maybe there'll be a little bit more chill out there. Oh, what's this out here? Um... Oh, yeah, the islands. That's right. I forgot there's, like, islands out here. Let's call the uh, Orca Coke Harbor Inn. Blackbeard's Lodge. In Orca Coke. I like everything about where this is going. Calling Blackbeard's Lodge in Orca Coke. Let's call it. <clears throat> okra coke okra coke o orca coke okra coke o okra coke o okra coke okra coke okra coke okra coke hi thank you for calling blackbeard's lodge sorry you missed your call we are either assisting another guest or are away from the desk you're away we are open for the season and are accepting online reservations just be honest. You're away. Let's keep moving down this line, this chain. Uh, Village Marine, I'm not feeling that. That's too generic. The Inn on Pamelico Sound. Too many star, high star reviews. Cape Pines Motel. It's probably more our speed. In Buxton, North Krakalaki. Call them up. Let's do it. Thank you for calling Cape Pines Motel. Thank you. Buxton, North Carolina. Buxton. For reservations, press 1. Yep. For all other questions, or to speak with the front desk staff, press zero or remain on the line. We press zero. Oh, t-shirts made say we press zero. Get it going, production. Bits and bites, we press zero. It's fucking jerky boys throwback. What the hell are we doing? No one's going to answer. We're probably disturbing someone. Okra Coke? Okra Coke. Okra Coke. Okra Cocky. I don't know. Okay, Pine, how can I help you? Oh, uh, hey, how you doing, man? Um, my name's Billy, and uh, I'm doing a show on, on North Carolina about the food and the drink there. And I was just trying to talk to someone from North Carolina about the food and the drink there. Um, if you got a minute or not, I don't know if you're busy. I'm sorry. I, I don't really have time right now. It's all good. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. I think people think, you know, like we're doing... People think we're full of shit. We're not. Ah, uh, all right. I, I don't know. What'd she say, Andy Griffin? Andy Griffin? I mean, did we put up, we pull up a clip of that and get called tonight. I mean, that's maybe what we do. What the hell did he do? Andy Griffith Museum. Oh, it's this guy. Ah, oh, fucking this guy's Andy Griffith? You know this guy. I mean, he looks like the Mad Magazine guy there, but no. Show me old Andy Griffith. Jesus Christ, with that words. There he is. That's him. You know that guy. What did he do? Did he do anything funny? Nip it in the bud. Best of Barney Fife. I don't know. I don't know if this is where we want to go. Do we really want to go down the rabbit hole with Barney fucking Fife and Andy Griffith? Don Knotts discusses leaving the Andy Griffith show. It's a minute 30. Fuck it. Let's do that. 
Talk to me, Don Knotts. That's because Andy had said he would never do the show longer than five years. And, uh, and I had a five-year contract, and during the fifth season, I thought, geez, I better start looking around for more work. And I wound up getting a, an offer from Universal to do movies and do my own pictures. And then Andy suddenly said he was going to stay on another two or three years. Well, I, I'd already cast my lot, I guess. I hadn't really signed, but I had said I would, and I had, well, I had focused all my attention in that direction. And uh, I don't know, I just went ahead. But I, I was very, it was a tough time for me because I enjoyed the, the, the Griffith Show so much that I hated to leave. I never expected that. I never expected it. I had interviewed with a lot of people. Oh. I had I had some offers. Uh, but, uh, but movies, that's what I want. That was compelling. That was a compelling interview with uh, with uh, Andy Griffith himself. Or man, I can't wait to get out to that museum. Probably chock full of great stuff like that. Man, North Carolina really bringing the heat. You know? Holy shit! The Andy Griffith Museum. Wish they were open. I love to love to get their thoughts. All right, let's call somewhere up there. You know, you got you to gotta play the hands you're dealt. And we talked to that lovely lady at that hotel, and she told us about the Andy Griffith Museum. <clears throat> so let's call some places around the Andy Griffith Museum and see what, what kind of hot action's going on up there tonight. Old North State Winery. Closed. Old Mill Music. Music store. Closed. Museum closed. Sweet treats closed. Brewing closed. Snappy's lunch closed. Miss Angel's heavenly pies closed. Is anything open up there? Jesus Christ, the brewery's even closed. Oh, Andy Griffith Town goes to sleep real early, huh? I mean, the fucking pizzerias are closed. Everything's closed. The Gondola Italian Restaurant. Cosmic Wander. Metaphysical Supply Store. God, I wish that was open. Holy hell. You want to call the Food Lion? Well, they're closed. How about Hardee's? Can we go all Bojangles? Let's call it Bojangles. Fuck it. That's a thing out there. Let's find a Bojangles. Let's call the one by the Andy Griffith Museum. They gotta be open, right? Closed. Jesus Christ. I mean, we got to start either changing the show or booking guests. Changing the show, the air date. Jesus Christ. We're lo slowly losing the bit. There's not one Bojangles open in the whole goddamn state. God damn it, North Carolina. All right. I don't know what else we could do here. I can't eat anymore. There's a hole in my gut. There's a uh, acid-induced hole in my gut from the food. The Tar Heel steak came in hot and heavy. We're going to call it week 33. North Carolina, week 33. You know what it is. It's in the back. Week 33, North Carolina in the bag. There it is. We got the pickles. We got the moonshine. We got the cheer wine. We got the Texas peats. We got the hot sauce. We got the barbecue sauce. We have Krispy Kreme donuts. One of the healthiest shows known to man I think we've done so far. Holy shit. Week 33 in the bag. North Carolina, you've been real. Kind of. Let's see the schedule. Week 32, New York, done. Week 33, North Carolina, done. Week 34 on the horizon. What is it ahead? Get out the binoculars. North Dakota coming up next. Big Bad North Dakota, followed by Ohio, round at the end, high in the middle, Ohio. North Dakota, you've given us some questionable hot sauce with a misleading name. Your barbecue sauce is vinegar-based, and you really love sugary-ass sweet tea. Cheer wine is really super sugary. Even your goddamn pickles have sugar in it. 
Uh, Mount Olive Pickles, good work. Moonshine, everyone's making it down there. They're selling it too. Burns a hole in your stomach if you eat it. Eat the fruits. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Everybody, thanks for joining the show. It was a fun one. We're going to do it again next week. That's week 33 in the bag. Uh, thank you so very much to everyone who joined the phones. Thank you, everyone in the chat. Holla, holla. You can follow me on Instagram at the Billy Vegas. You can follow and watch all of these shows on YouTube, all the previous weeks for every state at bitsandbytes.us. We'll bring you right to the YouTube playlist. You can subscribe, follow, comment, like, upvote, downvote, right click, left click, do all the things. Um, thank you for joining. Next week, North Dakota. Uh, I don't even know what we're doing for North Dakota, but we're going to go there and it's going to be great. Well, we're not going to go there. We're going to we're going to we're going to bring in here. You, you know what I mean? Uh, I got a couple people on the line for a guest there. If anyone you or someone you know is from North Dakota, holler out at me at the Billy Vegas on Instagram. Thank you for joining per usual Tar Heel State in the back next week, North Dakota. Two.